Mikey Butler and welcome to East Durham College for Butler Sport TV's coverage of this Peterley and District Sunday League Division 1 match between FC Easington and Easington Welfare. The Welfare will start as favourites as they sit fourth in the league with only one defeat from their last eight matches, a run that has seen them score 26 goals and another win today could see them go to the top of the league if other results go their way. FC meanwhile have been struggling at the wrong end of the table and with just one win from their last eight matches, seven of which have ended in defeat. But form tends to go out of the window in local local derbies, so a very competitive match is expected. So this is the Peter Lee and District Sunday League Division 1 match between FC Easington and Easington Welfare from East Durham College. Stay tuned for highlights to follow. Come <laughs> on. 
Be delighted in your first game as manager of a good win. Very much so, yeah. I think it's just what just what we needed. Uh, the season has gone well so far, and we thought change of manager maybe was needed. Martin's head might not have been in it fully, so I thought take over and got the best result we could hope for. What do you think was the difference today then to the last few games? I think it's just a new, a different energy. A um, couple of thinking with, with the couple of tactics here and there. And, uh, a um, little few changes personnel and then the team, but not a lot really, just ma making people believe in themselves. You know? I mean, it was the first half when it really were, obviously you got the four goals and mm -hmm. took control of the game in the second half. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you control, did you? I think the third and fourth goal killed them off really, made them argue amongst themselves and that, that plays in our hands. Yeah. Well, you must have been pleased with your own performance. Yeah, um, Tom's come in, I was the manager. Um, Tom, Tom's come in and He's made a difference. I mean, it shows there the lads have just taken it straight away. Like like Tom says, new energy, um, and he's threw us in the deep end. Really, it's been years since I played centre midfield, and uh, 
knackered after the first 20 minutes, but then getting me on on the score sheet as well, which helps the lads. And like Tom says, the third and fourth goal killed them off before half time. It makes a difference in this league as well. So, what do you remember about the goal then? Um, apart from Daniel Gethin missing the ball, <laughs> that's about it. It just came off the left foot. It was a great finish. Like I'll take that. But uh, great ball win by Chris Bear as well. So that, you said that sort of killed them off, really, didn't it, at that point in the game? Oh yeah, yeah, like. Like we said, it made them argue amongst themselves, and once we stop, once we let that happen, you know, we don't get involved with that. Don't get involved with the referee. Then it plays into our hands. It really helps us out. Um, we just have to play our own football. We've got one of the best pitches around here. We have to play our own football, and that's what we've done all game. When we've when we've had it, we've kept possession well, moved it around well, getting forward and taking our chances, which is the main thing. And you think now this could be the thing that starts your season going now, gets you going? Definitely. Definitely. Um, a win against season welfare is always nice, but after what's happened in, earlier in the season, my head wasn't on it fully to manage and I, I'm just going to enjoy playing my football now. And uh, it will really start our season. And There's not too much difference in between the teams, from the top all the way to us at the bottom. There's not too much difference. And it's all about attitude, isn't it? Yeah, attitude yeah. changes. It, it looks as if we can now push on and hopefully we get a little run going into Christmas and then kick on from the new year. Fantastic. Well done today. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Cheers. Cheers. Well Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Well, you must be disappointed with the performance today. Good. Local derby, nobody likes to lose, especially when you share the same home. Yeah. What do you um, think went wrong? Nah, difficult to put my finger on. The lads were all up for it in the changing rooms. Attitude, I think. I think attitude. Beat ourselves at times. Um, quite easy to look for excuses and hide on the pitch behind other people when they've made faults. Something you need to live and learn from. I think it was the first half when it sort of finished the game for you, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> first half was shocking. I mean, to let a lad in, cutting on his on his good foot twice, two great strikes, a few chances we made, didn't put away ourselves. Yeah, story of our season so far. We've managed to grind results out for the back of missing chances, but being kicking it tight at the back, our defensive record's been great. Today it wasn't the case. Yeah, I mean, you've been on a good run as well, haven't you, until today? Yeah, not too bad. And me too bad. Yeah, so today just didn't, just didn't happen for you, did it, really, from the start? It's never nice, nice to lose a game against uh, your rivals. Um, it could have been a platform there to really have a good run up until Christmas, you know. We've had a few cup games and whatnot lately. Just disappointing. Uh, like I said, everybody in there is disappointed. I'm sure they'll pick their heads up and I'll make sure I'll pick their heads up ready for the next game. So you've got to put it behind you now, haven't you, really? That's the main thing, isn't it? Aye. It's no laughing matter losing a derby match. No. So, Try nothing on. else really I can say. Try and move forward on the next week. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Hope for a better performance. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, unlucky today, anyway. No problems. Cheers. Thank you for the.